Things are really bad for Ubisoft right now, and they're probably going to get worse because I think that Star Wars is just the start for them. I think Assassin's Creed Shadows is going to be a little bit of a dud sales-wise for them, and that's going to be a catastrophic year for them. I mean, look where they're at already. This was from September 4th. Ubisoft stock sinks to 10-year low as Star Wars Outlaws underperforms. I think you might see a sale on this game much sooner rather than later. Now, I originally said that I think it'll be around half off around Black Friday. You might see a nice sale on this game within the next week or two. That's how you know things are really bad if a new game goes on sale this quickly. Because if a game is selling off of the shelves, like you're not going to see a discount that quickly. Because why would they need to discount it? It's selling out. Like Astrobot, that game that just dropped, you're not gonna see a game. You're not gonna see that game on sale in two weeks. <laughs> you, know, you know, it's not gonna go on sale that fast because people are still buying it. Word of mouth will push more and more people to buy it. That's not happening for Star Wars Outlaws. So, my prediction is the game goes on sale within two weeks. Not a heavy discount. I'm I'm saying down to maybe like maybe 40 bucks, probably more like 50 or 60, you know, take like $10 off. I think you might see that. And then of course by Black Friday, I think the game goes down to 40 to probably 40 bucks. I, I want to say maybe 30, but I think 40 bucks is probably where it'll land. And then they'll probably see some sales from that. But things are getting worse. Their stock has now been downgraded to neutral. So this is really bad. Apparently, they've now fallen 15.3%. And it's probably going to continue to get worse for them because this other game, X Defiant, which actually, from what I hear, is a capable Call of Duty clone. It's, it's not a bad game. It's just not taking off with people. I don't know a lot about it. I've watched a couple of videos. I'm just really not into these kind of games anymore. I'm just kind of tired. Call of Duty has is, is killed it for me. I'm just not interested anymore. I'd rather play Astro Boy <laughs> or an RPG or something. I'm just kind of just sick of shooters. Now, I am kind of looking forward to Space Marine 2. That looks cool, but that's more of like a third-person game. It's actually, it looks a lot like Gears of War. I'm really kind of hyped to play that game. It looks fun, especially the multiplayer, but back to Ubisoft, uh, you've actually got some of their investors telling them to go private now and put in a new management team. Wall Street Journal reported that minority investor AJ Investments called for video game maker, what, called for video game maker, Ubisoft, let's, let's put that in there, to go private and install a new management team. That hedge fund owns less than 1% in Ubisoft. So, that's kind of funny. You got them saying, listen, you need to go private and get a new management team. <laughs> you really messed up. It's probably going to get worse for them. I think Assassin's Creed Shadows probably not going to pick up the slack like Ubisoft is claiming it will. I think that game is probably going to have pretty bad sales as well. We'll see. I don't want to say it won't, but it's <laughs> it's got a pretty divided fan base right now a lot of people not digging that idea they had a whole thing with japan i I don't i don't know what's going to happen with that game but here's something that's really funny you've got the gamer uh, quickly becoming the new kotaku this this website is just as bad as kotaku or polygon now they've been bad but man they keep getting worse but here's what's funny they basically admit that we were right about k vess's face how she looks nothing like the address, uh, the actress. They they changed her face, gave her like sunken cheeks. They try to give her like that alpha male face, which is just kind of weird. Don't quite don't quite understand the move there. Uh, they definitely wanted to deconstruct the male gaze with her, which never really works out very well. But I mean, look at how they come across. Look, look at how they come across with this. The chuds are right. <laughs> K vest does look weird. But not for the reasons they tell you, though. 
It could be because of technical issues and limitations or just because she was supposed to look like that. Whatever it is, it's not because of conspiracy against gamers to make women in video games more ugly. Not everything is a conspiracy against you. Sometimes games just look like weird things. Stop sending people abuse on the internet. Nobody's sending abuse on the internet. They're criticizing it for sure. Uh, but this whole article is basically a cope. It's a cope that we're right. She does look weird. Uh, for whatever reason, they decided to go with this, let's deconstruct the male gaze thing, which a lot of Western developers are doing. And to say that it's not intention intentional is pretty disingenuous when you can just do a quick search, just do ugly video game women, <laughs> and you'll find all these pictures of evidence, and you can do the research yourself. Now, this isn't a problem in Eastern gaming, as you can see from the bottom here. Uh, but on the top, it sure does look kind of suspicious, doesn't it? And this isn't the only thing. Uh, some of these characters are, are real women. I'm pretty sure that's uh, her name is, I, I forget her name, but uh, there's the Fable character right there. And then you've got the one from that PlayStation game all the way to the right. Uh, this isn't a problem with Eastern games, though. Isn't that funny? It seems like only the Western games have these technical limitations. It's kind of funny to me. Uh, here's This is a Melanie Mack thumbnail, but <laughs> she's just pointing out it is a very unattractive character. This is Mortal Kombat 1. Uh, here's some more. This is NPCs from Anthem. So that was a Bioware game, but, I mean... The, the pictures speak for themselves. Uh, here's another one. This is my favorite. So, like, here's Spider-Man from PS4, okay? Mary Jane, she even had some criticisms then, but I actually think this Mary Jane's fine. In this universe, she's not a supermodel. She's a journalist. Like, she's a reporter for the Daily Bugle, right? So I'm fine with her being a little bit more plainer, but she's still attractive here she still looks okay i don't have any complaints about this mary jane other than her flat butt she literally has no butt in the game she doesn't in the new one either but look at the difference between these so the one on the right is the one from the newer game spider-man and two where she's much more masculine looking why didn't they i never understand why they didn't just keep the face the facial model from the first game like nobody, people still kind of had some complaints about it, but it was nowhere near like it is now. I don't quite get this decision by them. Uh, here's another one. I mean, look at her on the left. The left is the PS4 version. She looks pretty there. I, I have no problems with that Mary Jane. She should still be pretty. That that's how she. That's like an essential part of her character. She she's a supposed to be. That's why when you first meet her. Uh, she says to Peter Parker, face it, Tiger, you just hit the jackpot because she's out of his league. That's kind of the point of her being with him is that he's he shouldn't be. She's out of his league. That's where that whole phrase comes from. Uh, he is not hitting the jackpot in the PS5 version. <laughs> to say that this isn't intentional is bullshit, and they know it. But I find it funny that they're at least admitting that we're right in here. I mean, look what they did to her face. They broke her nose, and they'll say, well, it's because she's a scoundrel. Yeah, but don't they have back-to-tanks they can get into and just heal themselves in this world? This is like an advanced society. So I don't think it's quite like Star Trek where they get rid of scars, but, I mean, we've seen people now at this point in time get into back to tanks and be nearly dead and survive. This is uh, a regular thing in Star Wars. So doing something like this is quite intentional. And what have we heard from a lot of these woke Western developers for a while now, how they want to take the male gaze out and all this stuff. And it seems like they're trying to blur the lines between men and women. And these people are quick to jump on it. To blame technical limitations, though, is such bullshit because we did not have these problems in the PS4, Xbox One era. We didn't have it in the Xbox 360 era either or the PS3 era. Like, 
in fact, facial the facial scanning stuff and using people's faces in those eras look better than they do now. It's pretty freaking obvious to me that this is all being done intentionally. <laughs> and as a back a, a bad side effect to this, their sales are all going down. Oh, I wonder why. So, like I said before and on a live stream over the weekend, uh, the Eastern developers will just pick up the slack, which they already are, and the market will go back to them. And then eventually the Western market will correct itself and start making shit that people actually want. It just takes time for the circle to become complete. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all of this. I'd like to hear from you. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.